Hello, this is Mrs. Cooper with the weekly update for the week of January 24th, 2020. Here are some upcoming events. Monday, January 27th is the start of Literacy Week at the elementary school. On Monday, students should wear a football jersey to tackle a great book. Tuesday, students should bring a blanket or towel to sit on for outdoor reading. And on Friday, January 31st, we will have a character book parade. All elementary students can dress up as a favorite book character and parade throughout the hallways. Please have your student come to school dressed as the character with the book the character is in. Also, please pack a uniform to change into after the parade. There will be additional activities and a few surprises throughout the week. January 28th at 4.30 p.m. is Boys Middle School Basketball. They'll play against the Weiss School at Burns Road Community Center in Palm Beach Gardens. January 30th at 4.30 is a home game versus SLAM. Home games are played at 4051 Kirk Road in Lake Worth. On January 28th, 29th, and 31st, 7th graders will learn about recycling and ecology at the Solid Waste Authority. Our next open house for students new to PBMA will be Saturday, February 1st and Saturday, February 29th, 10 a.m. at the elementary campus and 11 a.m. at the secondary campus. Please let any friends who might be interested in registering know. In addition, this is a great time for incoming kindergartners to see our elementary school and fifth graders to see what our middle school has to offer. February 26th to 27th is our amazing Marine Lab field trip to Key Largo for secondary students. There are still openings for this hands-on snorkeling marine ecology experience. Don't miss this incredible opportunity. Here's a video to tell you more. Save the date for our next Atlantis Skateway Night on Thursday, February 27th at 6 o'clock p.m. Friday, February 28th is a teacher work day and there's no school, so there's no excuse to not go skating. Applications are now being accepted for next year's kindergarten students. Please let me know if you need an application or click enroll now from our website. Secondary students who demonstrated shark core value behavior were treated to a shark ice cream social to celebrate. Here are some pictures.
did was Miss Roop, our elementary principal's birthday last week. She was surprised with an amazing birthday breakfast. Special thanks to Miss Robinson and Miss Dorsey. This year was the first time in Palm Beach Maritime's history that we participated in the Palm Beach County School District Regional Science Fair. The fair is held each year, and each school in Palm Beach County is invited to participate. Over 600 students from Palm Beach County schools participated in the science fair in December. I am thrilled to announce that three of our students received top honors and were recognized at the district-wide award ceremony. Let's hear all about it. Hello, I'm Ms. Palmer and I teach 8th grade science, research, and chemistry here at Palm Beach Maritime Academy. And we're here with three of our Palm Beach County Regional Science Fair winners. Hello, my name is Yerita Perez. I am in 7th grade and I did a chemistry project. My project was called Loom Tempered and it was about how luminol and the different temperatures react to the chemical span. So, for example, if you use a colder temperature, it will make it last longer while well, warmer temperature would decrease the span. Awesome, thank you so much. Then here we have our next winner. Hi, my name is Alex Bukala. I, did, I made an engineering project, eighth grade. Um, my project was about how uh, I made a metal, air, and salt water battery. It'll like drastically increase like chances of like an emergency service, like in hurricanes or something. I placed fourth division overall in engineering. And, yeah. awesome. <laughs> and then our last finalist, here you go. Hi, my name is Jason Henchy. I am in eighth grade. I did a plant science project about figuring out which type of three fruits that I tested could produce enough volts to turn on and allow me to listen to music to an iPod. And there were three fruit subjects that I tested. It was lemons, oranges, and kiwis. Lemons got the least amount of volts and oranges got the highest amount, but it was not able to keep it on long enough to be able to listen to music. Um, I placed fourth place overall. Thank you. Awesome. So our three students here placed fourth overall in engineering, fourth overall in chemistry, I'm sorry, in plant-based sciences, and third overall in chemistry. We're super proud, especially being our first time even participating in the science fair, placing overall out of 600 students from all schools in the county. Good job, guys. Please remember to like and follow us on Facebook to stay informed of important information throughout the school year. I'm Mrs. Cooper. Thanks for watching. And remember, an engaged parent is a great parent.